Good evening, everyone. It's Monday night, so you know what that means. It's time for PWR Rivals Live on Troy 41 Gaming YouTube channel. We have a sold-out arena here tonight, and they want to see some pro wrestling action, and they're going to get exactly that. And we are going to get to the opening contest here tonight. We have a debut here of Jason Ramirez, and we are going to see what he brings to the table. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 255 pounds, the devil, Jason Ramirez. Oh, so the devil has uh, come to PWR. Okay, I, I see what he's about. I mean, listen, he's going to have to back it up here, man. He's going after one of the toughest men here in PWR, and that is the BMF champion, Ken Washington. So Jason is going to have to really showcase that he is a true threat to the BMF champion. And I don't know, man, tonight he is going up against a man who's shown that he has promise here in PWR up and coming, uh, Vengeance Simi. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'm, I'm very intrigued to see what's going to happen with this matchup. Vengeance Simi definitely has a lot to prove here in PWR, only having um, a handful, less than a handful of matches this season, debuting pretty late in the season. But uh, nonetheless, we are going to see these two athletes go at it. May the best man win. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Jason Ramirez wants that to be him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, two tough opponents. Um, two newcomers here to PWR season number six. So, yeah, it's going to go down here in the opening contest. I'm, Like I said, I'm very eager to see what Jason Ramirez brings to the table here in PWR. And I'm pretty sure Ken Washington feels the same way. He wants to know exactly what this guy is about. I guess we're about to find out right here on PWR Rivals. Vengeance Simi making his way to the ring. We've seen him debut a couple of months ago in the showcase episode of PWR Rivals getting a victory. We are going to see if he can parlay those couple of victories that he's gotten this season into this matchup here tonight. Possibly get himself an opportunity at the BMF champion? Who knows? We're going to have to see. But a Vengeance Simi as tough as they come. From the Isle of Samoa, definitely a tough, tough competitor. I want to see what he's about. I want to see what he's made of. I want to see if he can bring it to Jason Ramirez here tonight. And if he does, like I said, it may it may uh, potentially set this up for a three-way battle for the BMF Championship. Now, right around the corner, we do have PWR Saturday Night Slam Masters, which is going to be a, a memorable pay-per-view, but we're going to get to this match right here, right now. Collar and elbow tie-up, Irish whip off the ropes here. Ramirez tilt to world backbreaker. And now look at these full mount strikes trying to bring it to Vengeance Simi here tonight. And Simi is getting worked on right now. Big right hand, kick to the ribs, kick to the head, and a big knee to the jaw. And, man, Jason Ramirez coming out ball of fire right now. Teeing off against Vengeance. And now just stomping the hell. Boot to the face. Oh, yeah, he putting in work. He putting in work. He knows exactly what he's trying to do here. He's trying to prove a point and show that he is a threat to the BMF champion. Double knees right to the back. And Vengeance is filling that one. And now trying to go for the full mountain of forearm shots. And you got to watch out for those forearm shots from Vengeance Simi. He throws those, you're going to get knocked out for real. And now rolling out the ring, trying to save himself, trying to get some space here. Vengeance right on him, though. And now what's this? Picks him up. Backbreaker on the outside of the ring. And damn it, he felt that one. And now collar and elbow throws him right into the steps. Damn. Such disrespect. And now trying to get back to his feet, dazed and confused. Vengeance already back into the ring. 
And now Ramirez not far behind. But now got him. Gulu here, big knee right to the face. Damn. Oh, yeah, he trying to take him out. He trying to take him out. Look at this gut wrench. Power bomb just slammed him. And now going for a pin attempt. Referee for the count one. Just a one count vengeance. Semi still on top of his game right now. Oh, spoke too soon. Big knee right to the jaw. Taking him down. And a kick right to the back. And now what is he going to do here? Ooh, knee to the back of the head. And look at him taunting his opponent. And yeah, Jason Ramirez definitely showing the PWR fans he is nothing to play with right now. Big knee to the side of the head. Full mount strikes again. Teeing off on Vengeance Semi. And yeah, Jason Ramirez has a point to prove. Damn. Oh, no. He looks like he is busted open right now. And Vengeance is feeling it. He is going to have to fight back right now. Combination moves and a big kick right to the face. And Vengeance getting up. But that did nothing at all. Ooh, sliding knee right to the face. Going for the pin. Referee for the count. One, two. No, just a two count. Vengeance Semi still in this contest. And Jason Ramirez wants to take this up and come out. Oh, wait a minute. Dodge that one. Okay. Oh, but got him goozled. Got him goozled here up against the ropes. What is he going to do here? Oh, he's out the rumble. He is out the rumble right there. And now Vengeance Semi standing tall in the ring now. Waiting for his opponent and taking that shoulder right to the gut. And Jason Ramirez might be in some trouble. Oh, look at this biting on the face ref. Where are we at here? Big elbow, good reversal. And now collar and elbow, what is he going to do? Go behind, snap, drag it on the outside of the ring. Damn. Such disrespect and a stomp right to the face. Ooh, big drop kick to the side of the head. And one thing you got to give it to Jason Ramirez is he knows how to stay on his opponent. And he is not taking any chances against him. Except that little taunt right there. I don't know what that was for. But now going up top. High risk maneuver. Possibly on its way. And a big frog splash. Going for the pin. Referee for the count. One, two. No, just a two count. Vengeance Semi able to kick out again. And now, wait a minute. Trying to pick him up. Good reversal there. Vengeance staying on top of his game. And now, ooh, STO. And look at this, Jason Ramirez sliding out the ring, very smart. Picks him up, oh my goodness. Inverted atomic drop, or Manhattan drop, if you will. And now just throwing him to the floor here. The disrespect from the devil here. Going in, oh, see, look at that. Taunting at the wrong time. Now Jason has the high ground here. Telling him to get back into the ring. And Vengeance Semi. Ooh, wait a minute. Go behind. What's this? Big forearm shot to the back. Ooh, and another forearm shot. Turns him around. Irish whip off the ropes. Oh, they bumped into each other. Too much speed there. And now look at this. Irish whip of his own. Ooh, and a spear out of nowhere. Going for the pin. Referee for the count one. Wow. Just a one count there. And now picking him back up to his feet. Oh, got him goozled. What the hell? Damn, just drilled him. Referee for the count. One, two. Oh, just a two count. And Vengeance Semi might be back in it here. Okay. All right. In the opening contest, they teeing off like this. The main. Oh, damn. He missed that one. Got him up against the ropes here. And now what is this? Oh, wait a minute. Dumps him with that pile driver. Oh, he rolled out the ring. Very smart. <laughs> Very smart. And now high risk maneuver might be on its way. Calling for vengeance to get to his feet. And a cross body. He's done. He is done. Cross body. He is. He's done. He's finished. How you cross, cross body somebody from the top turnbuckle all the way to the floor. Come on now. That's done. You broke all the ribs. All the ribs are broken. That's it. Vengeance Semi is, is man, he's hurt. Ooh, double knees to the back. And that does not help at all. And now, getting him back into the ring here. 
Jason Ramirez not far behind. Vengeance is in trouble. And now back to his feet, kick to the to the knee there. Oh, and that drilling knee from the side. And damn it, that has to be. No, that's that's not it. I am I am surprised here he didn't take advantage of that shot. That was a clear shot right there. He could have ended that match promptly. But uh, Jason Ramirez with a double knee to the back. And now, calling for vengeance to get to his feet here. It might be over. Oh, wait a minute. Crossface? Wow. Going for the submission and pulling back. And vengeance. Simi has to tap out too much damage. Damn, what a great performance there by both men, to be completely honest. Man, oh, wait a minute, look at this. Ken Washington getting into the ring, and it's a stare down. Okay. Pro Wrestling Revolution. You all better hope and pray that I walk out the world champion. Because if not, you're all in danger and have no one else to blame but Gabe Williams. Because if I don't become champion, they're coming. You're asking, who is coming, Dustin Jeffries? That is simple. The pack. Yes, the pack. One of the most dominant groups in all of professional wrestling. But just a little twist. I got new members. I got my boy Pre Cannon, the man who has defeated the superior one. I mean, come on. This man has beaten the world champion. Then we got Tiger Takagi, the world's most dangerous man. Screw Ken Shamrock. This man, the world's most dangerous man himself. With us together, we will destroy anybody who steps on our path. PWR roster, you've all been warned, you peasants. And up next, we have a tremendous matchup between two men who are uh, going for championships here in PWR. This is a bit of a uh, mixed, uh, I want to say, weight class match. And we have the returning Byron X. Who wants that junior heavyweight championship from the current reigning and defending champion, Conor McGregor? This man here wants gold in PWR. I mean, we haven't really seen him too much this season. He, he definitely has to step it up. And Byron X, he wants to be the cruiser grade again. That's what he wants to be. And we're going to see if he can make that happen here tonight. It, it's going to be a tough one. It's definitely going to be a tough matchup. It's not going to be easy. And he's going up against a man who wants to be world heavyweight. Well, hold on. Hold on. We've seen what he said on Twitter. Hold on. He's not going after the world champion just yet. He, he feels like Spike should be world champion. I don't get it, but it's fine. We got King Malcolm in the building. He wants to be world. He wants to be a champion. I'm just going to say that. And uh, King Malcolm has a lot to prove here in PWR. He wants to see Black Excellence hold the gold here. And it's, it's intriguing. It, it truly is. I mean, I'm definitely intrigued on seeing if he can make that happen. Now, a victory here tonight against Byron X can definitely help him um, really show that he means business. I mean, Tiffany Jones holds the women's championship which is great for black excellence but they have two other members you know jigga jones he needs to hold gold king malcolm he wants to hold gold i mean i, I believe that it happens 
all with King Malcolm getting those those needed victories in order to really push black excellence to the top of the PWR roster. So it all starts here tonight. King Malcolm had a couple of wins on PWR rivals in previous weeks, but now he definitely has to show what he's about. And referee calls for the bell. Let's get it. And now, okay, so King Malcolm definitely very militant, wearing the turtleneck while wrestling. It is what it is. Ooh, double foot stomp. And King Malcolm getting back to his feet here. Springboard drop kick right to the face. And King Malcolm might be a little, wait a minute. Ooh, not to get shown off doing a little springboard action of his own. Big forearm shot to the face taken down Byron X. And now King Malcolm waiting for Byron to get to his feet here. And now look at this springboard, another kick to the face. And King Malcolm teeing off right now, okay. Ooh, hammer fist to the face. And Byron X is getting worked on right now. Yeah, he, he's getting worked. He is definitely getting worked. And now rolling out the ring, smart move. But King Malcolm ran into a trap right there. And now picks him up. Oh, wait a minute. Good reversal. Oh, tried to go for a drop kick. No go on that one. And now those overhands by Byron X. And now picks him up here. No, good reversal. Oh, kick to the gut. Back and forth between these two. Okay. And the fans are going nuts right now for this matchup. And now back into the ring. Springboard tries to go for a drop kick. It catches it. Damn. Okay, a lot of high flying in this matchup. And from King Malcolm, I'm not sure if he is a high flyer, but he's definitely trying to show that. Double foot stomps again. Damn. Yeah, he going in right now. He he teeing off. He, he knows what he's trying to do. Damn. Big boy suplex right there. He teeing off. I'm sorry. He, damn. German suplex. My goodness. King Malcolm, fight back. Oh, wait a minute. Kip up. And look at this. Springboard. Caught him with a drop. Yo, those springboard drop kicks are OP. I'm just gonna put it up there. They, yo, they so cheap. They're so cheap. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's the truth. Those, yo, those springboard drop kicks are cheap. We just put it out there. Referee for the count, just the one count. And King Malcolm able to kick out there. Oh, try to go for the right hand. Good reversal. And now what's this? Working on the arm. Hammer lock. Picks them up. Back suplex. And that can dislocate an elbow right there. Big move by uh, King Malcolm. Ooh, big headbutt. Grabs onto the arm. Big suplex. Going for the pin. Referee for the count. One, two. No, oh, just a two count. Byron X able to kick out. And King Malcolm not wasting no time getting him back to his feet here. And now got him goozled here. What is he about to do? Put him up against the ropes. Is he going to go? Oh, big elbow. Good reversal. Go behind. Big German suplex again. And the cruiser great is trying to show the world he means business. And now ripcord knee to the jaw. And that's rope break. He wasn't paying attention. He was not paying attention. Big right hand, though. Ripcord. Ooh, knee to the... Another rope break. No? Okay, I guess it's not real great. And just a two count, King Malcolm able to kick out. And man, this is a battle. This is a battle right now. We've been seeing that all night here. Oh, wait a minute. Good reversal into a power slam. And now King Malcolm picking them up. And what the hell was he thinking about doing? Oh, kick to the gut. Good reversal. Oh, go behind. He was trying to do a springboard, I think. Off the ropes. Poor Karana caught him with it. And Malcolm trying to get back to his feet. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is X going to do? Shoulder block right to the gut. And now outside the ring where it's most dangerous. Got to stay on point now. Got to stay on point. And now getting him back up to his feet. Look at this. Head scissors into a Fujiwara armbar. But there's no submissions on the outside of the ring. You will get counted out playing around like that. Byron X better be aware. Oh, wait a minute. Roll through. King Malcolm able to get out of it. Big forearm shot to the face. Ooh, big right hand. And now, ooh, another forearm shot to the back. 
Oh, wait a minute. King Malcolm throwing Byron X to the floor. And now sliding back into the ring here, waiting for X to get into the ring. And wait a minute. Big forearm shot again. And now working on that arm. And man, what a tremendous matchup we are seeing here tonight on PWR Rivals. Headbutt into a suplex. And damn it, that has to be it. Referee for the count. One, two, and just a two count. Byron X able to kick out again. And man, the leader of Black Excellence still trying to stay on point right now. But Byron X able to hang in there. And now, wait a minute, what's this? Oh my goodness. Oh, Rainbow Cutter? Seriously? I don't know about that one. And no, X didn't know about that one either. I, really? Okay, so King Malcolm is a, a cruiserweight? I don't know what's going on here. I, I, I don't get it. It's fine. He's doing springboards. He's high-risk maneuvers. I don't get it. Now look at the got him caught with that suplex. Now wait a minute, look at this. German suplex. Yeah, he's throwing him around right now, man. He is throwing him around. And now Byron. Oh, I thought he was going high risk. Oh, good reversal. Working on the legs. Smart move. Slow down your opponent. Oh, look at this. Double leg into a slam. Okay. Okay, that's the aggression we want to see. Oh, good reversal. Such a back and forth, but damn, back and forth between these two. Ooh, stomp right to the right to the ribs, I think. Maybe the arm, possibly? And now he's working on the arm. I'm not sure what King Malcolm's, like, I, I don't know what his strategy is here against Byron X. It's, it seems like it's all over the place, to be completely honest. I'm very confused on this one. Now getting back up to his feet here. Collar and elbow working on the arm. Oh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's trying to break his arm right now. And look at him meeting him outside the ring. Not wasting no time. The taunting, that's what we need. Oh, stop right to the arm. Oh, no. He's going to break his arm. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's trying to break his arm now. Okay, now I see the strategy. At first, I couldn't see it. He was springboarding. He was cutters, kicks, all this. I, I didn't understand it. Now I get it. He's trying to work that arm, but to what point? I mean, is he trying to go for a submission? What is he doing? That's the million-dollar question. Oh, wait a minute. Are you serious? Into another cutter? Oh, yes, he caught him. Damn, it has to be over. That ha Work the arm and then do a cutter? I don't get it. But nonetheless, King Malcolm with a W and the Cruiser Great very disappointed. And look at what we have here. Conor McGregor. Oh, man. Okay, that's what we got going. All right. He still wants some of Byron X. Okay, let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to witness the Clash of Titans at PWR. Saturday Night Slam Masters. I, the Maverick Rick Richards, a three-time PWR Heavyweight Champion, am here to remind you why I'm the undisputed master of the ring. Bull Suzuki, you may be holding that television championship, but let's face it. You're just keeping it warm for someone with the charisma, skill, and pure raw talent like myself. I've conquered mountains, and now, I'm coming for your precious title, baby. Because, Bull, you'll be stepping into the ring with a maverick. Prepare yourself for a show that will be talked about for years to come. The maverick doesn't just win matches. I make history. So, Bull, bring your best, because when the maverick sets his sights on gold, there's no turning back, baby. PWR Saturday Night Slam Masters is about to become my playground. And that TV championship? Well, let's just say it's about to find a new home. A home where it truly belongs. With the Maverick Rick Richards. Maverick. Out.
Now, this match right here is going to be very, very intriguing. And uh, for, for many reasons. Number one, we have Jody Red uh, going up against the world champ, the women's world champion. The fight is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Warner Robins, Georgia. The pro wrestling women's world champion, Tiffany Jones. And Tiffany Jones, I believe, wants to follow through with what the leader of Black Excellence has just done in this past match. And that's get a victory. I, listen, this is an intriguing one. I, I'm down to see what happens here tonight. Now, uh, Tiffany Jones got to stay on point. Because uh, Tiffany Jones, uh, last week on PWR, attacked the number one contender uh, for the Women's World Championship. And that was Cassandra Black, the witch of PWR, which um, I feel like was a mistake. I feel like definitely wasn't a great idea, um, but she got to live with that. She, she, she got a whole lot. Um, I think she made out an enemy out of the wrong witch. Um, I'm not sure that uh, Big Tiff is safe. I'm, I'm going to put it on there. Uh, maybe the witch put a hex on her. I'm not sure. This this is, this is going to be a strange one. I, I don't know. But here is... Uh, Jody Red, I guess a member of uh, Ego Powers. I don't know, First Lady of Ego Powers. And uh, Jody Red making her way to the ring. This woman here uh, definitely wants to climb the ranks in the PWR Women's Division. I'm very intrigued to see if she can make that happen. That's 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 the biggest question right there. If she can get a W against the women's champion i'm assuming that that has to get her a championship opportunity you have to think that that's the case right i mean come on but nonetheless both women ready to go and referee calls for the bell and look at this already out the gate irish whip brings her back in and a knee right to the gut and uh yeah joe jody red is uh the wife of a uh, showtime here and uh, it looks like <laughs> politics work how politics work. And she has a non-title match with the Women's World Champion just weeks after debuting in PWR. You got to love it, politics. <laughs> hey, listen, maybe Showtime did, maybe Showtime didn't. Maybe it was the luck of the draw. Who knows? Maybe they picked the name out of hat. I don't know. But nonetheless, uh, Jody Red is in the match against the World Champion. I don't know if she's ready for this type of matchup, but hey, the bell already rung and we're already in here. And now Irish Whip into the corner, full head of steam, big forearm shot, and down goes Jody Red. And now Big Tiff, what is she going to do? Big splash from the second rope, going for the pin, referee for the count, and no, oh, just a two count. And big Tiff. Already taunting. I don't know if that's a good idea, but wait a minute. Look at this arm drag. Okay. Trying to stay in this one. And she needs to stay on point. She's going up against the world champion. Oh, go behind. Oh, my goodness. Snap dragon. You love to see it. Dazed and confused. Oh, man. Caught her slipping with that springboard kick to the face. And now off the ropes. Oh, drops her down with a flatliner. And you love to see it. Now calling for her to get to her feet here. Dazed and confused. What is she going to do? Tries to go for a chop. Get a kick to the leg. And now, wait a minute. Irish whip into the corner. Big forearm shot taking her down. But wait a minute. No sold. No sold. Now big European uppercut. And now rolling out the ring. Definitely a smart move. But Jody Red staying on point. Ooh, and a hatch suplex. Oh, yeah, let's get it. And like I said before, earlier in this show, we got Saturday Night Slam Masters right around the corner. This is going to be probably the most creative pay-per-view. Not all the titles are on the line, but we're going to have some wild, wild matches. So definitely keep in tune with PWR Rivals. Actually, next week, we're going to show the card that is booked for Saturday Night Slam Masters. It's going to be a wild one. Wait a minute. It might be over here for Jody Red. Oh, 
Not just yet. Big Tiff not able to put her away. And now getting her back up to her feet here. Kick to the gut. Oh, double underhooks are in. Oh, package. Pile driver. And damn it, that has to be it. Referee for the count two. And no, Jody Red able to kick out. Okay. Damn, another one. Oh, damn. Good reversal. Big clothesline taking her head. Smooth off. And now back to her feet, picks her up. Oh, God, Northern Lights. Oh, but it was a rope break, geez. Wasn't able to take her out with that Northern Lights driver. Oh, you talking at the wrong time. You talking against the world champion right there. You got to stay on point. And right now, Jody Rett, wait a minute, what is she about to do here? Oh, look at this, STF. Just trying to choke out her opponent. Trying to choke out the world champion. And I don't think she's trying to hear none of that elbow. Damn. Three elbows to the head. And Red had to let go of that one. And now collar and elbow. Irish whip. Oh, Luthes. And slamming her head right into the mat. And man, oh man, she is hurting right now. Springboard forearm shot to the face. And I think springboard moves are a little bit broken. because You can't interrupt those, but it's fine. We're not going to talk about it. Drop kick to the side of the head. And now picking up Red here. Ooh, big uh, knife edge. Another one dropping her down. Duck under. Off the ropes. Big clothesline just flying across the ring. Backed into the corner. Full head of steam. Big forearm shot. Taking her down. And now Big Tiff back in the driver's seat. Now what is she going to do here? Slowing down the pace. Working on the legs right now. I don't know what she's doing. She's just turning around, working the, working the leg. And now she's trying to go for that pump. Not pump handle, but double underhook possibly. Oh, yes. Double underhook. Picks her up. Dumps her. That's the third one. That has to be it. She took three of those. She, had, she hung in there. Got to give her credit. But the world champion... With the W and the lights dimmed, uh, I think it's going to... Oh, God. Not again. Not again. Oh, my goodness. The witch is back. Got her goozled here. Picks her up. Dumps her down. And damn it, we've seen this happen before. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program for a special Ego Powers announcement. See, me and the gang have been talking about collecting some titles here in PWR, and it's like the only guy who's really been stepping up is Ken Washington, holding down that BMF championship month after month after month. Pretty sure he's going to, you know, successfully defend it at uh, Saturday Night Slam Master, so <laughs> we're not worried. But it got us thinking. Maybe we should be getting some gold here. I mean, it's almost the end of the season, so we were former tag team champions. So I think Ego Powers is going to go for the tag team championships. Now, before it was me and Stephen Hill, but we got talking and made some plans. And next week, we are going to show you the new team of Ego Powers and who is going to be taking those tag team championships from Young and Reckless. See you next week, champs. And wait a minute, look what we got here backstage. Cameron Rossi going after Jake Wilde here. Powerbomb backstage. And I, you got to think, what, what is going on here for these two to be going at it backstage? And oh my goodness, Jake Wilde is getting taken out by Cameron Rossi. Damn. Now, this main event match is going to be a wild one. Um, I, I, here's the thing, right? And I feel like this is going to all culminate at, a, at, at Saturday Night Slam Masters. I feel like what the should be booked... Hold on. It's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. 
Weighing in at 222 pounds, Blade. Now, Blade is going to be in action tonight, going up against Tenacious D in a one-on-one -on -one contest. So, it's Gladiators of America and a Superior Legends, right? This is basically what the main event matchup is here tonight on PWR Rivals. But, 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 here's what I'm thinking for Saturday Night Slam Masters, and I'm going to pass this along to Gabe Williams. I think it should be a War Games match between Gladiators of America and Superior Legends. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that that should happen. I feel like that's a great match. I truly do. But it's not up to me. It's up to Gabe Williams. I'm just putting it out. You know, that's just that's just how I feel. But there's also going to be, and Spike announced this, that, that you know, there, there's going to be a, a battle royal for the number one contender spot to face him at PWR Super Battle 86. So I don't know who's going to be the number one contender. He's not defending his championship this month. From another time, weighing in at 215 pounds, Tenacious D. And uh, yeah, Tenacious D. Listen, I know Tenacious D definitely wants to hold a championship. He was the television champion. Wasn't able to keep a grasp of it. And uh, it, it seems like, um, yeah, it seems like uh, the Maverick Rich Richards uh, wants that title uh, from Bull Suzuki. So that seems to be the case. But uh, nonetheless, here tonight, we're going to see if Tenacious D can hold it down in the in a one-on-one -on -one contest here. And uh, in the main event, listen, Tenacious D started last season wanting an opportunity. He started this season wanting an opportunity each and every week. And now look at him main eventing PWR rivals. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? But nonetheless, Blade is ready. Tenacious D is ready. Referee calls for the bell. Let's get it. And out the gate. Big drop kick taking Blade down. Damn, he wasn't waiting. Look at this. Tenacious is showing his tenacity right now. He's not playing. And we got the Legend D back in the building. And that is definitely a good thing. We thought he was out, but man, he tried to take out Gladiators of America. Ooh, cross body. Cross body and back into the ring, not wasting. Oh, damn. Ooh, just exploder suplex. Just threw him. And the size advantage is, is very clear. Let's just let's put it out there. There is a, a size discrepancy in this matchup. Damn, big centaur. And now picking him back up here. Knife edge. Kick to the gut. Damn, another knife edge. Sheesh. And now, oh, damn. He's going to stomp the hell out of him. Damn. And now, what is he going to do here? Picking him up. Oh, try to go for the knife edge. Collar and elbow. Working on the arm. There you go. And this kid here, man, can definitely go at it with the best. He definitely can. And he has shown that many times here in PWR. So, I mean, if, if there's someone who could win this matchup, Tenacious D definitely can. But see, rookie mistake. Let your opponent just get in the ring. Damn! Missile drop kick. That springboard is... That springboard nasty. We're going to have to, like... No more springboard drop kicks. <laughs> no more springboard moves. Oh, damn. Exploder suplex. And I think this is, like, Blade's... I don't know. Maybe third singles match? Maybe second singles match. Damn! Senton! And going for the pen attempt. Referee for the count. Two. Just a two count. And I thought it was over right there, man. That Centon was serious. And now Blade calling for Tenacious to get to his feet here. Oh, good reversal. Jawbreaker. Oh, kick to the gut. What's this? Holding on to the arm here. A little bit of that high risk here. Arm drag. Okay. Big move there. And now Tenacious shoots the half. Hooks the leg. You're not going to get no three count off an arm drag, kid. Come on. A three count off an arm drag? What world do you live in? And now, oh, got him boozled. Oh, my goodness. He has the claw, brother. Oh, no submission there. It was rope break, too. So, yeah, we're just going to put it out there. And now, Blade in the driver's seat. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. The legend running up. He wanted some smoke. 
He wanted some smoke. He saw Gladiators of America coming around. He was like, hold up. I want war. I think, I think honestly, it should be Gladiators of America versus Superior Legends three-on-three -three war games. I'm just putting it out there. Honestly, Gabe, make it happen, please. We, we want to see that as a collective. We should probably have, you know, I, listen, like I said, the pay-per-view is going to be a strength. We're just going to put it out there. It's, it's going to be strange. And now, wait a minute. Ooh, sling blade, roll through, and drop kick right to the side of the head. And now Tenacious, what is he going to do here? Monkey flip, arm drag, great move. But he got to stay on point, though. That's that's the thing. Oh, look at this. Dragon screw leg whip. And slamming the knee down onto the mat. Great combination moves by Tenacious staying in this one. And now look at this. Dragon screw again. Yeah, he has a mission statement right here. He definitely has a mission statement. And look at this blade rolling to the apron. Smart move. Staying away from any potential finisher. But catching some damage there. Falling to the floor. And now Tenacious wanted to get him back into the ring. Smart move and potentially get a three count. But now, waiting for him to get to his feet here. And look at this, another dragon screw. Yeah, he's damaging the hell out of his legs. He's damaging the hell out of his legs. And he still won't let him get that finisher off. You'll love to see it. And sling blade, roll through, and a drop kick. This kid is on point. I ain't gonna hold you. This kid is definitely on point. He knows what he's doing former television champion. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is he going to do here? Runs up. Big drop kick to the face. And now waiting for his opponent to get to his feet here. Collar and elbow. Got him goozled. Against the ropes. What is he going to do? Irish whip. Reversal. Oh, no. Cutter. It's over. That's it. That's it. That's done. It's done -zo. Referee for the count, one, two, no, Blade able to kick out Stain in this matchup. And now, what is he going to do here? What is he going to do here? He might be in trouble, that TKO, that TKO might come in full effect. Oh, big knee to the face, picks him up, look at the strength of this kid. Oh, no, elbows to the side of the head. Oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, double underhooks. Oh, look like it's going to be a backbreaker. And not wasting any time picking him back up. Oh, God, just got him goozled. Picks him up, drills him down. Going for the pin. Referee for the count. One, two, no. Tenacious D able to kick out. And, man, tonight is like a night of main event matches. This is wild. They are teeing off. Ooh, damn, stomp right to the leg. Now, what is he going to do here? Oh, catch an insecurity to the side of the face. Oh, he's back up. Oh, goodness. Got him goozled again with that claw. Drills him. To, damn, the back of his head bouncing off the mat. And Spike does not like that. And Blade gets the victory off of Tenacious D. One in the win column for the Gladiators of America. And thank you guys for watching PWR Rivals. Like, subscribe. Catch you on the next episode of PWR Rivals, the Gladiators of America with the W.